Six one towards gamer. Here we go. Chapter two. Turn your right. Jump down the rope. Uh, go ahead. You can go ahead and sprint through this. There's no then guards to see you. You're kind of okay. Start to get a little. Slow it down right here. Grab this purse. They call that work. And go ahead and shadow stealth. This way. Jump down this spot here. And the general's here too. Last. Reach it, run over here and grab this bottle. You can use it, and you'll see where you're going to use it here in a minute. Uh, go ahead and fall back to uh, that little pit area. Hide right here and just wait. Just sit right here. You can wait. The guards may be heightened at master difficulty, but they're not that good. Just He'll walk right by you. I think the eye might go off, but otherwise. Uh, I was following him over to the dog cage, but the dog was alerting. Uh, yeah, see, it popped a little bit, but... You can go ahead and pickpocket him while you're waiting. Slow as hell. And then get that oh, bottle ready. It took me a little bit to get the controls. I didn't know. I didn't want to fucking jack him with that. Nope, didn't want to hit him in the head. Yeah, just throw it centralized over there. Both guards will look at it, try to figure it out while you're picking the lock. Now make sure after you get the lock open and the door open, Close it behind you because they will see the door open and they will flip out. So no reason to cause a cause a kerfuffle there. Go grab this little gear here and jump down. Again, I don't have uh, the uh, tunnel tool. Grab another throwable and this item here. You're gonna pop up. And you can go through the grate. Well, we'll see. It's so damn dark in this game. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, climb up here. Alright, stupid cutscene area. Did I get the... I don't remember if I got the item over here or here not. It. You grab the pedal. Aaron. I see yeah, 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 grab the pedal and then turn right and there's an item over there. There we go. Alright, climb up the pipes at this unnecessary third person climb up pipes portion of this game. I don't understand why they even have these, but... Whatever, it's not like you have a choice. And they're glowing, for God's sakes, I don't understand why. Here comes one more for the knacker's yard. The general will want this lot seen to before last bell. Look at this. The highborn in with the low lowlifes. Yep, yep, blah, blah, oh, blah. Gone. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody good? Are right, you gonna pop up here? Carded him gentle as we could. Should have just cut all this out of the video. <laughs> Waste of space. Alright, you're moving forward. You're gonna go around. And then you'll come to an opening eventually where there's a guard standing there talking about his loot stash and the mannequin rides the crap out of him. There we go. Now you're going to be following this guy for a bit, so again, not taking anybody down. This is the non-lethal stealth playthrough here. Hop down behind him, go ahead and loot him. He's got two pockets on him you can grab. But not this kind. Don't want to get too close to him at this point. All right, yeah, see, he started to turn around. Stay behind. Now watch this. Go up past him. He's going to turn to his right. When he gets to the door, you're going to go past him. He's trying to find something. All right, you're in the clear. You grab this thing. Pop up over the boxes here. There's a nifty little stash of gear for you to find. Nice little... Uh... There, you got some coin person there. And then you got this chest back here full of goodies. Golden goodies. And I think that's every... Oh, there you go. More. All right. Head back out. Guard does a quick loop back and forth. Follow behind here. He, he turns to your right, so all you need to do is cut left, and you're fine. And then head on down. All right. Yeah, and you use a, see I use that shadow step or whatever the hell they call it. All right, jump off this window, turn to your right, there's a gear. Uh, you want to use the left trigger to hop across and grab it if you want. Uh, I skipped a lot of this. There's there's stuff down there you can grab, but I just skipped it. It's not worth even going down there and messing around with it. Archer with a loot, loot bag on him. Oh my god, sorry. Guess he's been playing Thief all day. 
He's going to turn around. That's when that's time to move, and you're in the clear for the most part because this is the only guy to beat on this level. Oh, yeah. Well, we were told to torch him at the sides of the streets. You didn't turn to your left, and you're good to go. Done. Shadow step. I call it shadow step. I don't know what they call it, but it's that shadow dash where you just kind of blast forward. It seems to work okay. I think it's because I've upgraded my stealth a little bit through the black market or whatever the hell they're calling it. This is the problem with when you have your uh, controls contact sensitive. Every time I hit X to get something, I grab the side. Now, don't jump up on the hook yet. Make sure you jump down here and get all the loot that's hiding down here. You get some food, which you can sell. And this gloom is everywhere. Jump on this hook and just enjoy the ride. Nothing to do, just hang out. Literally hang out. You're hanging out. Ha 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 ha, that was bad. Gotta cut this part out. I wonder if a building can be condemned twice. But aren't you making a good case for it here? Really nothing to say here, just kinda fumbling. Right, obviously when you come out of the uh just like shooting deer back in the You want to drop down as soon as you hear that guy? Time to get off. I prefer being on the moving. Okay, next checkpoint for the most part. Gotcha. Go ahead and shadow slide forward, grab the scissors and the letter there, and then if you're being greedy, watch your left, there's a container there. If you hit that container, it alerts him, which I did the first time I came up here, thinking I was slick. Just hop over the side and you're right back to where you were at. Un unpick the, unpick the lock? Pick the lock. All right, now, if you start, and I've noticed this with this game, there's a little bit of a, an annoyance factor here, is if you start running around in this room, that guard from the other room will hear you. Now, I suppose that's realistic. But at the same time, it's like, really? Like, when I clear him and he's not in line of sight and I close the door and all that, and he... You can still hear me. Oh, God, sorry. Go up top, you get that uh, bronze telescope, another 40 coins, which obviously is huge. There's a letter on top of the desk. Uh, you don't need to turn the light off here behind you. There's a light switch. You don't even really need to screw around with it. Okay, you're going to come out here on your right. There's a uh, thing of four blunt arrows. It wants you to shoot the, the light switch across from you, but why bother? You're just going across the hallway here. You just do that. Now close the door behind you. The guard who you just snuck past will turn around and see it and get like, get curious as to what's going on, and then come in and get get up your shit. So, you'll notice I had that glass and stuck in my hand. You have to hit B on the controller to put things away in your hand. I was going to go ahead and, yeah, I was going to say, I was like, let me go ahead and, once they start doing the autopsy is when you can go ahead and grab it. Turn around, shadow dash through here. I, I messed up. I should have waited a little bit. I think I made a little too much noise, but... You're good to go. So, I got their attention, but unlike Dishonored, you can still get ghost playthrough per level if you... If you... Ugh, sorry. Yeah, if you alert guys, it's okay, as long as you don't... If they're alerted to something, as long as you're not, like, fighting guys, you're still in ghost mode. So. You can jump up here if you're feeling bold. You can go back to the autopsy tables while they're moving around. You can pickpocket the other uh, the other guy, which looked lucrative. All right, this room's just weird. I don't even know what. And there, if you turn around, there's a vase up top right up here. I, I tried getting to it. I don't know how you get to it. I'm presuming there's a way, but I didn't know how to get there. So I didn't bother. Turn around. Give me a locked door. I'll show you. A locked door and a weird keyhole. I haven't seen this mechanism before, though. Must be a key to and fit. there is a key to fit, so grab the fork out of there. On your right-hand side, yeah, go ahead and hit that. On your right hand, yeah, all right, letter. And right, there's a chest. Watch the glass on the floor. Obviously, if you step over the glass quickly, it'll crunch and it'll wake the guard up. Crack this thing open. dum de dum and obviously, uh, you want to be careful with that one because making 
fumbling a tumble. Yeah, again, context sensitive. <laughs> How many times is it going to take me to open this, uh, grab that key? <laughs> Stuff. All right, got the key. We'll walk back this way. There's a, uh, I don't know what. Did I skip that? I thought I went over there and got the, uh, there's an item down there. I thought I went back and grabbed it. And no way did I drop free loot like that. Yeah, on the left. There you go. A little something. Sorry for my trouble. Around for more loot. There ain't none that I know of anyway. I'm sure there is. You know, I'm only picking up 50, 60, 70 percent of the loot on these levels, so I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff I'm missing. All right, get that door open. Jump forward. Bunch of arrows right here. Which, if you haven't noticed, I don't use a lot of arrows. Just go to the store in the minimap, and the uh, or when you get back to uh, the hub city, you can just sell everything for more loot. Coins way more important in this game than a one use item. Grab the silverware set. Up, up on this hook, and you're in the last area. Well, second to last area, but last area that counts, really. There's your hook. There's your ride. Should have cut this part out, because once you hit the hook, it's another unnecessarily long winding corridor. Of, well, not winding, but you get the idea. Dum -de -dum. Man, I cannot stop yawning. <laughs> Poor dead man Cornelius is proving hard to catch. Alright, but I'll have drop to. down, watch a cutscene. No pushing. Yep. <laughs> we ain't been going anywhere without you. Alright. How did she find out? I made sure to thing. General wanted that ring, all right. What was that about? All right, nothing much to see here. I'm Going underground, underneath everybody. Still, didn't see many bodies with rings until then. Go ahead and zip forward. Hey, you don't suppose we, uh, we should be checking for, um, you know? Yeah, you know, cock ring. You. That's a normal thing to have. It's a ring for, you know. All right, now you're in the lobby area here. All right, before you go across in front of the furnace, you go back here. You can get them. Didn't you know? Some, uh, Helps with getting it loot just hanging out. My brother, Some gear. She said if you're in a pinch, you would use pig gut. Tied in a knot. The pig gut's not... Don't be having to go... I was, I was burning some That's of my focus because I knew this was the last area. I want to see if I get some more loot. I do like there. loot. Oh, look. An archer just randomly looking off in the distance. I'm going to go ahead and steal you. Stuff. All right, head on back out towards that main area where all the guards are at. That's another thing about this honor. It seems like there is really only one way to go through. You know, obviously you want to wait till the furnace closes and then go ahead and dash the next table. Loot these guys. Nothing else to see here. Some loot there, some scissors on the box there. All right. Look through here to see the general admiring his handiwork. The ring. Too much to hope that he cleaned it, I suppose. All right, turn around. Guards are all sitting there talking about cock rings. You can leap up here, go through the grate. Not the other side. Dum -de -dum. All right, pop out here, and here you are. You're in the supervisor's office, which was all boarded up. That's a strong box. Another of the Baron's improvements, perhaps. It'll crack like any other. More cash. All right, this took me a little bit to figure out, but I mean, not that difficult. It's just a matter of figuring out what they're asking for and move things around until you see patterns start to emerge. I had it I had it nice and early and it's like oh wait 
I was looking at the wrong spot, but it was getting there. <laughs> if you use that center logo, the circle, that really just kind of sets it up for you. As long as you put that circle in the center, it really locks everything else down. Nobles never miss an opportunity to admire their own crest. The uh, vault here. Still have an opportunity to loot the rest of those coins after the cutscene, which Cornelius. I think I cut out of. Did not. Door open! Break it down if you have to! Uh, grab the rest of those coins. I have the ring and a new best friend. But it's not over until I get out of here. All right, this is the race to the city area. You just pick this lock, which is really unnecessary. It would be interesting if they were trying to break down the door behind you, but they chose not to do that. And you can really just sit here and fumble around with a lock all you want. It doesn't really do anything. Maybe on a timer or something. No, whatever. All right, quickly zip across here. Shadow dash. Best move, really. Catch your breath. You can follow this guy. And that's where you're going, so just go around him. The guy who is literally standing next to that hole in the wall. You can actually pull this off. This looks like you're going to get caught. Well, I'm gonna go for it. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Sure enough, not a clue. Get through completely unscathed. Another unnecessary section, but whatever. Sounds like General's meant one. Go ahead and climb up the uh, up, poppy. is going off. Alrighty, lefty, and you're about done here. Almost, you're gonna crash through the ceiling here once you get in. I was looking for some cash, obviously. But... Whoopsie daisy. What was that? So, obviously, go ahead, take cover in the cabinet here. Just wait for him to pass. You're probably good at this point to jump out. I was just waiting. I was being careful. Pop on out of there. Grab food. Alrighty, right here on your right, there's an opening, there you go, stay hidden there, and there's a chest right in front of you there, boink, right across the way, not paying attention, and go ahead and wave out those candles, right close the door, that always helps, you don't really need to do this, it's kind of like, oh, I better get those. I was still trying to burn the rest of my uh, focus down. Want more loot? But no more loot would be had. That is it. Congratulations, you did the second chapter for the most part. I think that's it. Yeah. You are done. Good job. Thanks to everybody for watching. Certainly appreciate it. Shanghai 6, Front Torch Gamer, showing you how Ghost, no death, no kills, no, uh, no headshots, no nothing, no disabling. You leave all the guards alone. Thanks for watching. Shanghai 6, Front Torch Gamers. Subscribe, like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Certainly appreciate it if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thanks, man.